A typical water bottle contains 16.9 fluid ounces. You want to buy a larger container to hold the amount of water in three cases of water bottles. Each case has 24 water bottles. Which container should you buy? We will first determine the total volume of the water in fluid ounces and then convert the fluid ounces to cubic centimeters using the conversion one fluid ounce is approximately 29.5735 cubic centimeters. And now we'll compare the volume of the water to the volume of the two containers in cubic centimeters. Let's call the volume of the water V sub W. V sub W is equal to the amount of water in one water bottle, which is 16.9 fluid ounces, times the number of water bottles, which would be 3 times 24, since you have three cases of water bottles, and each case contains 24 water bottles. This will give us a total volume in fluid ounces, which is 1,216.8 fluid ounces. And now because we will determine the volume of the containers in cubic centimeters, we will now convert the fluid ounces to cubic centimeters. Again, using the conversion, one fluid ounce is approximately 29.5735 cubic centimeters, which means the volume of the water, V sub W, in cubic centimeters is equal to 1,216.8 times 29 point five seven three five. This is actually just an approximation for the conversion. Which is approximately thirty five thousand nine hundred eighty five point zero three cubic centimeters. And now let's determine the volume of the two containers. Let's call the first volume V sub 1 and the second volume V sub 2. Notice both their boxes are right rectangular prisms and therefore the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. And therefore V sub 1 is equal to 32 times 24 times 36 These units are in centimeters, which is why the volume will be in cubic centimeters. The volume is equal to 27,648 cubic centimeters. Notice how this volume is less than the volume of the water, and therefore this first container is too small to hold the amount of water. And now let's find the volume of the second container, V sub 2. Again, the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height, which is equal to 36 times 28 times 40. And again, the units here are in centimeters, and therefore the volume will be in cubic centimeters. Now we have a volume of 40,320 cubic centimeters. And now comparing the volumes, Notice the volume of the second container is greater than the volume of the water, and therefore the container is large enough to hold the amount of water needed, which means you should buy container two. I hope you found this helpful.